Well, it, uh, another big branch broke down. So I think that's like one, two, three, about four or five of them. Cause it, I don't know if I show you that, but over there is a bunch of ones broken down. So, uh, I, I don't know what caused it. I think what happened, it was all well, that heavy snow, and then all of a sudden going into, you know, minus, with the wind chill, minus 55. I think that water froze inside the tree, and, it, and the weight just snapped them right off. The rest of them look pretty good. So, but yeah, that was something. So you guys want to, let's take a look at, um, just look at Bumblebee, see if everything's all right with him. And then if you guys want to see a couple of new items I brought, I'll show, wait, who said no? Come on, I ain't going to kill you. Okay, let's take a peek. Let's keep the noise down though, because, you know, Bumblebee's still sleeping. I don't know about you guys. I cannot wait to take that cover off and plug in that trickle charger. So, got it pretty cleaned up. Yeah, I was using that. Oh, let me show you that. I was using this Roby. I think it's called, what is that? Oh. Rovi 1 plus HP. Seems to do a pretty good job. I'm going to buy another blade for it. This one's still good, but, you know, I'm going to use this one on the smaller branches and stuff. Then I got a heavy-duty um, reciprocal saw in there. It's not a Milwaukee. It's a skill brand. It's a type you have to plug in, but it's a big one. I mean, it fills the whole bag. So, that'll slice that tree up. No problems. It's heavy, too. Of course, I'm getting older. And then, as soon as I can get Bumblebee done, I can get that mower out of here. Oh, wait, no. I keep forgetting I'm getting another shed. So, I guess he can stay. See, that's what I mean. There's going to be a, Once Bumblebee's out of here... There's going to be that lawnmower, and then hopefully a uh, nice used one, a uh, nice used riding one. And then Bumblebee will have its own shed. I'm hopefully planning to pick it up here and, or order it next couple of weeks. Or next, well, about a, let's, let's say another seven, ten days at the most. Um... I, you know, I just want to make sure I got plenty of cash to put down and to, you know, spend during the month to have. All my bills are paid. I always pay them. As soon as I get paid, I pay, always pay all my bills. So, let's go look in here at the new toy I got. I wish it was a motorcycle. Oh, I didn't tell you this. Did you know that Honda has... Uh, a new motorcycle coming out it is a 2024 ST 1300. It's not here in the United States yet. I already called the dealership. I told them to put my name down for one. Uh, according to Google, uh, the price is about 10 grand. So, oh, no, I take it back. I take that back. Sorry, it's 17 grand. So I told the the sales guy, um, I think it was Mark, to call me if he gets one in. Or even if he gets a nice, real uh, used one in, he call me. So, but can you believe that Honda has made a new one, an ST? It's not the CTX like I had. This is the ST. So, they don't even have any used ones up there right now. They don't have any used CTXs or STs. So, mm, something smells good. So, as soon as that comes out, I don't know if he doesn't, he doesn't even have any notifications when they're going to receive them. So, 
we might not get them till 20, 25 a year or so. So this is the two new toys I got. This is a obviously a win generator. 4,500 peak watts there. Um, I ordered a, um, I think it was a, a, a A1 power or AI power. I'm not really sure. But um, after three weeks, I finally canceled that order. Come to find out the shipper never sent it. And I'm glad they did because that thing was a, Look like a pile of junk the more I looked at it. This is <laughs> this is way bigger than I will ever 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 need. So this one has four of the 120 outlets. That AI had two. And it's got two 30 amps. I'm not sure what those are for. But I know one of them's a transfer plug for a mobile home. Got a circuit breaker up there. Those are for the 30s. And then each of the set of um, the 120s have their own breakers. And just an on and off switch and an hour meter. I believe, oh yeah. Four gallon tank. And it tells you how much gas as well. Roughly how much gas is in there. So. And the pull, pulls over here. The fuel. Top of the air filter is the choke. So I just got this uh, probably an hour ago. And I was really surprised. I mean, you can't tell. <laughs> the box was in mint shape. was not nothing, no damage to the box. And the generator looks outstanding. So it came with the oil filter. Or not the oil filter. The oil spout. Um, and then that little wrench device to take out the plug so I will never use that because I'll just take it to in to have them do maintenance on it and the reason I brought this generator is so I can plug my vacuum cleaner into it without you know dragging that 100 foot extension cord out every time I need to vacuum my car just simple easier to pull the car up here bring the generator out here and then you know right about here and start it up and plug in my vacuum cleaner can't get any easier than that so lucky my my sisters don't watch these videos anymore now that I'm done with the cancer but um I had a big Rigby vacuum cleaner you know it was a 14 gallon one when, some of my videos, you'll see it in the back corner and stuff. That thing was just too damn big for me to keep dragging in and out to use it. So, I will say Rigby, or Rigid, I think it is pronounced Rigid. They do make really nice vacuum cleaners. I ordered another set of um, hose for it. It's a longer hose and more accessory nozzles for it. Oh yeah, and then up here... That's the oil for the generator. Now I'm going to stop right here. And then, oh, look at that. Eesh. Got to clean this up. But I'm not going to put any gas or oil in it yet. On Monday, I have the wheel kit coming. So I, want, I don't want to have any gas or oil sloshing around when I'm trying to put on that wheel kit. And... and and the handle. So once those are on, then I'll put in gas and oil and start it up. I'm not sure how, I mean, I'm not going to use it that much. So I'm not sure how much gas to put in there. I figure I'll put in two gallons, fill it up halfway. And then, you know, when, it, when I start, when I don't really use it that much, I'll put some stable in it. I might just do that right away. I just don't know. See, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know that kind of stuff. So, but I am, I do want to put in two gallons at least. I really, really want to put in four gallons to fill the tank up so the condensation doesn't build up in the tank. So I'm going to have to think on that. 
either fill it full or just put it in two gallons. But I know as soon as I get the wheel kit and put it on, I want to start it up right away just to make sure it's running. So, and then I can plug that in and hopefully the snow will be pretty much gone. And uh, see how that goes. But uh, I'm not really, like I said, I don't really have much plan to use it. I did buy this new cord. It's a 25 foot cord. So when all this snow melts, and I'm hoping it's going to happen pretty soon. Uh, I already heard one motorcycle out yesterday. I couldn't believe it. I actually stopped my walk in and wait for him. It's, of course, it was a Harley. You could hear it <laughs> seven miles away. You could probably hear it when he started it up. But hopefully, because it's really nice and supposed to be like almost in the 50s next week. And this ground's kind of soft, so I still wouldn't be able to take um, Bumblebee out. But I'll put the generator right there. And I'll plug in my 24 foot cord and run it through here. See, that's just a hole, that's not an actual outlet. And then I'll hook it up to the trickle charger and then get um, Bum Bumblebee's battery charged up. It doesn't have to run. I bet you, the, according to the manufacturer, four gallons of tank should run that generator for 13 hours, I think it was. I don't think I'm gonna have to run that generator more than for maybe five hours, then the battery will be charged up. Because, you know, when I plugged in uh, Big Red, it, it only took like four, maybe five hours. It was fully charged. And then when I get the new shed in, which would be a perfect time. It won't be for another, like I said, a week or so. Well, I'll tell you, order it. I'm not sure when the shed will be here. But I'll probably have to clear out that little bit of snow if there's any left. But there may not be. If it gets up in the 50s, I already ordered propane. I'm still at over 50%. But when I get paid, I like to pay my bills in advance. Um, I'm a will call customer on propane. So it's not like they're going to just stop by and fill it up. i got to call up and tell them. I want it, and then that's when I, I pay for it, but I already prepaid for it. So, I have a feeling all that snow will be melted. It's almost down to nothing. And I'm going to put the shed right, like I said, somewhere in here. So when I pull Bumblebee out, and then there's the two little concrete slab I can park them on and let Bumblebee get warmed up while I'm getting ready to to go so and I've had doubts about putting the shed there but it's the only real place to put it we're all running into the same problems I have and now pulling it in and out of that shed I still have not received my payoff letter on that green one I called them Monday no I think I called them Tuesday I said you I said, well, you guys said that letter be here between six to eight weeks. I said, in a couple more days, eight weeks is going to be up and over with. So I'm supposed to call next Tuesday and then let them know that they haven't, I haven't received it. And I'm not going to, let's face it. It's already been up to eight weeks. I haven't received it in eight weeks. I'm not going to receive it anytime. So I got to call them and harass them to get the letter. So she keeps claiming they're busy. I, I don't know how that many people are buying on paying them off. I think it would be excellent. But when I'm watching on YouTube, there's a lot of shed repos. Uh, I don't know how they're that busy processing the paperwork. You know, we're for the payoff sheds. I'm not talking about for the repo ones. But anyhow, I'll give them a call again. See what's. I'm not worried about it. Obviously, I haven't made two payments and. Uh, the last payments I made was in December. So I haven't paid anything January. I haven't paid anything here in February. So if it wasn't paid off, they would have been here by now and picking it up. So I own it. It's mine. Both of those are mine. And then I will get a third one here. I just That's another thing I'll work out is the payments. 
see if it how much difference is it between the four years and the three years. I really want to just do another three year. But I don't really care because I'm just going to end up paying that one off early anyhow. So. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the, those items. Kind of tell you what's going on. So, once I get the generator, I'll probably just put up a short video. That way you can see it and hear it. I really have to think about the gas on that too. If I fill it or put half. But I almost think I need to fill it. Just for the condensation. So, but my dad did have a generator. Old Sears generator, Craftsman's. And, boy, that thing sat around. Oh, I bet 20 years. You could go out and fire it right up. My dad would never use it for anything. He, I guess he's. I guess that's where I'm getting it from, is he just brought it just in case. And he'd go up camping north a lot, and then my brother and I would have to go up there with him. We kept telling him, Dad, let's take the generator up there, so if the power goes out, you can plug it in, into your generator. He, he just didn't want to do it, even though he didn't have to touch anything. I mean, we did all the setup, so... And boy, that old generator, it took like two of us to lift it. That's how heavy that old generator was. And it's nowhere near as nice as the one I got. And that one I got is like 100 pounds. So, and they didn't have wheels and all that stuff. You know, the wheel kits and stuff like the new ones do. So, my brother-in-law, Randy, the one who used to take my dad up north and set him up, then I end up with that project... <laughs> Uh, he got that generator because, you know, nobody else wanted it because it was so freaking old. So, there's Heisenberg. Still runs excellent. And maybe I can start going walking again. Tomorrow I might drive up and see if, there, if the snow's melted. But they don't clear out those things. And they're shaded. The parking spots are shaded by, you know, the pine trees and stuff. So I imagine the snow will look like this. And there's no way I'm going out there and get stuck in it. Then snowmobilers got to use the trails for about a week and a half. And all of a sudden it got warm and it started melting. The snow started melting. So I never thought I'd say this, but I'm kind of glad it's getting warm out. Because I can't wait to get back to riding. But you know. Before I really can ride it, I need to take it in and get the oil changed. Uh, have them figure out why that radio is not working. My friend Larry thinks they accidentally disconnected the antenna. And I believe what Larry says because it just scans through the channels. And it was working perfect before it went in. So I'll just have them take that front collaring off and look to see if the antenna came off. I'm pretty sure that, I'm like Larry, I'm pretty sure that's it. So, all right, you guys, have fun. I'm going to go upload this video for the next three days. And I, while this is uploaded, I'm going to go for another short walk. Actually, i got to go to Quick Trip and get some stuff. Okay, bye, you guys.